Hey guys, this is Evan and welcome to another episode of Gunpla TV. This time we are looking at two new kits. This is the Core Gundam 2 Titans color and the Core Gundam 2 G3 color. Both of these are high grade kits from the Gundam Build Divers Re-Rise series. These are two recolors. Uh, the Titans color is based on the color scheme of the Gundam Mark II uh, Titans version from Zeta Gundam. And you also have the G3 Gundam color based on the RX-78-3. Since these are basically the same kit with two different colors, uh, we decided to just do these together. But before we get into any of that, if you are not familiar with what a core Gundam is, uh, basically it's like this little half size Gundam. It can kind of act as its own little mini unit. But in addition to that, it can also combine with these different planets system armors to become different Gundams with different abilities. All the core Gundams, including these two new ones, are compatible with all the core Gundam accessories. They all can mix and match. So no matter what armies you might have, this should work with it. So this kit is about the normal size box for a high grade kit, but you only get four runners in here. And a lot of these pieces you don't even use because they are only necessary for either the core Gundam 1 or for the planet system armors. You have three plastic runners, one polycap runner, and a sheet of stickers, and these stickers are exactly the same as the other Core Gundam 2, except now that they have these two new stickers on the right side that have this little emblem, and this emblem goes on the left leg of the Core Gundam. Fully completed, you have your Core Gundam, the Core Defensor unit that looks like this little plane here, which also serves as a shield, a rifle, and a stand that's typically used for the planet system armors. In addition, you also get five hands, and now let's look at the articulation. So this is basically the same as the original Core Gundam or Core Gundam 2, but if you've not seen those, uh, the head is on a double joint here, so there's a section in the base of the neck here, as well as in the head that move. So they can move backwards and forwards, can rotate 360 degrees, as well as side to side. The arms are on this ball joint here that has a lot of motion backwards and forwards and up and down, and you have a double joint here in the elbow, so the hand can come up right up to the shoulder. The hands are also on a ball joint with a lot of range of motion, and can be removed pretty easily to attach accessories such as armors or different hands. There's a little bit of skirt armor here that can flap up and down, and you can attach more armors here as well. And the legs can also fold up to the side, as well as a lot of motion backwards and forwards, and you also have a single joint here for the knees that bends about 90 degrees and as well as here near the ankle. This can fold up quite a bit because this is how you attach uh, legs for the new armors. There's also a part here for the foot. This foot can bend side to side pretty well as well as fold back. And again, this is how you attach the new legs. These shoulders also slide out more and so that's how you attach new armors you kind of gives them a broader chest here. And in the back, you also have these little beam saber hilts that can fold up and down as well. The abdomen here can rotate side to side, as well as there's a ball joint inside the abdomen here that can give you a little bit of motion forwards and backwards. Not so much side to side, but you can have them lean forward a bit more or back if you need to. And of course, the G3 color here is exactly the same. No difference here other than the color. So this kit by itself does feature at least one little neat gimmick. Uh, you can transform the Core Gundam 3 into the Core Flyer by attaching the Core Defensor unit on top and transforming the limbs a bit into this jet mode, basically. And this jet mode can also attach to the little stand that comes with this kit. So you can have the Gundam in the Core Flyer mode on this little stand, or you can have just the Core Defensor part on a stand. The core defensor can also attach to the hands to kind of serve as a shield. It attaches to the back and the backpack, but it's really large and long, so it looks kind of weird, like this really large butt flap, and I'm not a big fan of the way that looks, but it's there if you need to. I know the Eurovin Gundam requires that setup. But of course, if you have any of the armors, you can attach them as well. Uh, here I have the at least one of the suggestions that Bandai included on the manual. This is a combination of the Alus Earth 3 Gundam the fake new weapons and fake new unit, as well as the Titans color Gundam. Uh, I think this looks pretty cool. I think that's a nice suggestion that they have there uh, if you have the armors. Uh, in addition for the G3 armor, they have a picture here for the 
core Gundam, the Neptate unit, and the V2 unit. I do have the Neptate unit, so I attached it to there and it looks really good. It matches with the color scheme pretty nicely. At first I was kind of confused why they even included the planet system armor stand at all because you don't really need it here. At least that's what I thought, but then I realized when building this, actually a couple D parts here are for building the Gundam itself. So it looks like they just included the entire thing here so that you can complete the Gundam as well as have some little extras. I think my one gripe with this kit is I don't understand why Bandai did not include beam sabers. The original core Gundam 2 that came with the Eurovan Gundam came with two beam sabers, but this one does not have anything. But if you happen to have the Eurovan Gundam as well, or any of these flat beam sabers, then you should be all right. But I think that was kind of stingy of them. But that's about it. These are really simple little kits. Even if you do not have any of the planet system armors laying around, if you think these look cool, they are nice little half size Gundams and you, you can put them on your desk and they look really nice. It's really amazing even how small these things are, how much range of motion you can get for poses. Yeah, even if you don't have any of the armors, check them out. Personally, I really like the Titans color here, but that's it for me. Be sure to check these out and be sure to like and subscribe on our YouTube and I will catch you next time on another Gunpla TV. Thanks for watching. Yeah.